In recent weeks, the choice within our party has also come into stark focus. President Obama has no experience running a business and no experience running a state. Our party can't be led to victory by someone who also has never run a business and never run a state. Our president has divided the nation, engaged in class warfare, and attacked the free enterprise system that has made America the economic envy of the world. We cannot defeat that president with a candidate who has joined in that very assault on free enterprise. When my, when my opponents attack success in free enterprise, they're not only attacking me, they're attacking every person who dreams of a better future. He's attacking you. I will support you. I will help you have a better future. I'll make sure that America is a place of opportunity for all. I'm passionate. I'm passionate about our economic liberty because I have witnessed our free enterprise system as it rewards the hard work of many and creates prosperity for all in this great country. And over the past few weeks, we've seen a frontal assault on free enterprise. We expected this from President Obama. We didn't anticipate some Republicans would join him. That's a mistake for our party and for our nation. Ours is the party of free enterprise and free markets and consumer choice. The Republican Party doesn't demonize prosperity. We celebrate success in our party. That's, uh, that's one of the big differences between our party and our president. He leads the party of big government. He believes in ever-expanding entitlement. He's wrong. We're right. And this is a battle we cannot lose. Those who pick up the weapons of the left today will find them turned against us tomorrow. That's the choice our party gives America. Or else we don't offer them any choice at all. And Americans, in my view, will demand a real choice in this campaign between those people who believe in prosperity and success and opportunity and those who believe in government. And I think they'll choose us.